Hi, I'm Natasha with Anika Foods and I'm with SoFlo Vegans making a chocolate pumpkin cake bowl today. I have a twin sister, so I always grew up thinking about other people more than you think about yourself. Um, but it's always nice having someone that you can count on and trust and depend on more than anything in the world. I kind of feel sorry for people that don't have twins, as mean as that might sound. <laughs> And the good thing about having a business together is that you don't have to spend any time away because most people work 40 to 80 hours a week and you never get to see your family. So even if you make less money and it's more stressful, sometimes it's better to have a job where you can be with the people that you love and doing something that you love and feel passionate about instead of hating work every day and not being able to stand waiting until you get out of work and can go home. If your work is your passion, then it never feels like you're working. These are little pumpkin cake bowls and they're gonna be stuffed with chocolate, pumpkin, cinnamon, and then have like a little sugar pumpkin on top. So this is just to hollow it out so you can have a little bit more room for filling. And then I usually save these little pieces and then make like cake bowls, with cake balls or something with them so that they don't get wasted. So it's almost all pumpkin. So when you're dealing with like pumpkin or banana, you don't really need any like egg substitutes or milk substitutes because the vegetable and fruit itself kind of acts as the egg substitute. So then it ends up like really moist and with a really good texture without having to have anything artificial in it. We get here really early because all the baked goods kind of have to be made the same day. So all the cookies and muffins and cupcakes. Um, some of the stuff can be kind of prepped the night before, but all of the big stuff is important to have it fresh in the morning. Um, so we get all that ready in the morning. Around 11 o'clock we start opening up the customers. That takes up a big chunk of the day. We have pretty much the same people come in every day. So it's kind of sad, but we know everybody by name. And we can tell immediately if someone comes in that hasn't been here before. <laughs> but that makes it feel like you're hanging out with your friends all day. Like you get to hear all their stories, their families, what's going on with their lives. So none of the transactions are quick. We don't just pass on the food and say goodbye. It'll end up taking like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. <laughs> But that's what makes it fun, so. And, I, and that's definitely the appeal of here. You walk in here and you're automatically, you're smiling because you feel like you're in a safe space and a cool environment. You don't get that everywhere. That's Not even cool. just in a vegan community, but just period. So kudos to you guys just on being yourselves. I know you're not like trying to do that. It's just who you are. So that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> so it's like light and fluffy and chocolatey without being too sweet. So I'd usually rather use a mousse than like a frosting or pudding or something because those tend to be thicker and richer. It's like a lot of fun. Like, you know, you bake, you bake your goods and then you design them, you add your own flavors to it and you have like specific flavors that you like to use in spices and I think that's really, it's like fun and you know, you keep it, you, you switch it up, it's good. And the cool thing about having a menu that changes every day is that you don't get stuck making the same thing over and over and over again. Because whenever people do that, I think they get kind of stuck and they get bored with it and they stop like caring about it. So it's cool to just be like, I feel like doing Japanese food this week or I feel like researching what Korean food looks like. <laughs> and then getting to try something different every single week. So we end up having like, 80 different spices up there from everywhere in the world. But, and then of course, there's some people that come in that want the same thing every single day, so. <laughs> but yeah, we're generally in love with whatever we're making. So that's why so many people always question the fact that we're vegan or when we're vegetarian, because they're like, you're not skinny. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I really like food. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be skinny to be vegan. So. Exactly. You don't have to be skinny. You don't have to have a specific yeah. shape. Just love yourself. Love your body. Love what stage it's in. Your body can change. You know, you're in control. This is basically just sugar paste. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna make little pumpkins for the top of the cakes. Then for the stem, we're gonna take a clove. This is 
basically just sugar. It really doesn't have a flavor, but if the clove sits in it for a few minutes, it makes the whole thing taste. Mmm, smells so good. That clove, wow. That aroma is incredible. We have a fast little two second sugar pumpkin. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I love doing all the cakes and the baking, and my sister loves doing the food, so most of like the entrees and dinner, and she really, really likes experimenting, like finding an ingredient that she's never heard of before, or <laughs> a spice that she's never used before, and trying to base a dish around that. So she's more of the, let me experiment from around the world and see what I can find, and I'm more the, well, with the baked goods, you kind of have to be more precise because a quarter teaspoon more baking soda makes a huge difference. I used to do a lot of medieval cooking to recreate recipes from the past for like Ren Faire groups and stuff. And um, a lot of the recipe books were really cool because it would be like, take a thousand of this or more or less, or <laughs> take a pinch of this and a handful of this and like a scoop of that. So. I think for a long time that's what most recipes were like, just general guidelines, like this is the ingredients you could use for it and everyone would put their own character and their own spin on it. So you'd see like six different people make the same recipe and not one of them would come out the same, it would all be different. Every dish that I've had of yours has like a unique, specific flavor and taste and it's, it's just, you put a lot of thought and effort into, you know, making it that way. So. You can definitely notice it, and I think it's special because usually other places they just go by the book or whatever, and you just add your spice and what you want to infuse into the food. So I think that's what really makes you stand out, like your food, your personality, everything. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, people always ask us for the recipes for things, and they're like, we promise we won't tell anybody else, and I keep trying to tell them, we don't really have a recipe. <laughs> cinnamon in it until there's enough cinnamon and you stop before there's too much. <laughs>everybody sean russell soul flow vegans this is the community spotlights if you haven't been watching them their showcases of vegan businesses or veg friendly businesses around south florida our most recent episodes include bomb cookies johnny nobles leaves and roots the caribe vegan and we have so much more on the way so check it out soulflowvegans.com slash spotlights you'll be able to find past episodes and also check us out on our social media at soulflowvegans